Yeah, have been with us tonight at 5 o'clock. Everyone, I'm Bob Plus, and Laura has the evening off. We begin tonight with developments out of Calhoun County following a pipeline rupture last night. Roughly 200 people evacuated as crews worked to stop the leak of anhydrous ammonia into the city. Now the leak has been stopped and they're able to go back home. Claire Kreitz talked to them. She's got more on just exactly what caused the rupture and the disruption. This is where it happened, just east of Hampton. And as you can see, the road is still closed here as crews work to repair the line. But they have been able to stop the leak, allowing people to go back home. The sheriffs and the police, they came banging on the doors and telling us we need to evacuate. evacuate. 3 a.m., Regina Murphy and her family were forced to leave their home following a ruptured pipeline leaking toxic gas into Calhoun County. Yeah. Now, we were scared because we got kids. And, like, my dog is still in the house right now, and I can't go get my baby. Now I'm so... I'm sad because I, I really need to go get my baby. According to Arkansas Department of Emergency Management, workers with a gravel company were digging in an area east of Hampton when they hit the line containing anhydrous ammonia. When we was going outside, you could, you know, inhale it or whatever. So we had, we had on, put like mass, it, yeah. It As they fled to the Florida Civic Center early Friday morning. They let us in and welcomed us in and with open yes. arms and everything. They've been so grateful to yeah. us during this very, very tragic experience. Officials got to work to stop the leak. It did linger on the ground all night, and they was monitored throughout the night. Calhoun County Judge Floyd Nutt says they brought in sheriff's deputies, police, and officials from neighboring counties like El Dorado to help evacuate roughly 200 people. The El Dorado Fire Department is highly qualified, had hazmat trailers, all the equipment, the monitors for the air quality. As night turned to dawn, the leak was stopped, and Mother Nature got to work. The sun came up this morning, the wind started blowing, and that was our friend. By lunchtime, the roads were open, and everyone was able to return home. The county has crews in from Dallas monitoring the air quality, and businesses remain closed all day. They should be able to return to normal tomorrow. Reporting in Calhoun County, I'm Claire Kreitz. Back to you.